Hello my very most beautiful Capricorns. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your April bonus reading. Now this reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. So whoever you're thinking about Capricorn, that is who this reading is intended for. Now it is still a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you guys want something that is, you know, meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my most beautiful Capricorns. Please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Capricorns energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. I ruined everything. Ooh. My life is not together at all. I have so much to say. I hope you can forgive me. I don't react when people mention you at the bottom of the deck. So someone's really keeping how they feel all to themselves here. So it's like they're still really affected by whatever's happened here between the two of you, but they're really keeping it to themselves. Um, I ruined everything. My life is not together at all. I have so much to say, and I hope that you can forgive me. Yeah, someone's a hot mess over here. And it's almost like a part of them really does recognize that maybe they weren't ready to admit that to you. Maybe they weren't ready to admit that to themselves at the time, you know, but now they're, they're able to see where just everything around them is falling apart. And sometimes when we are going, like when we are not on our path, whether we're not aligned mentally, emotionally, spiritually, when we're not healthy mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and we're not on our path, we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. Um, you know, everything will just go wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong. Um, and I feel like that's something that this person is experiencing. It's like what every single thing is just one thing after another. And it's, it's because the universe is trying to course correct and they're just fighting it at every turn. Um, but I feel like they're having some regrets. I feel like this person is starting to see like everything that they're destroying, you know? So let's go ahead. We're going to take a look at their head space, their heart space, their true intentions and their actions. Show me this person's thoughts. What's going on with this person's headspace when it comes to Capricorn? The Eight of Wands. So they want to reach out. So they have so much to say. Eight of Wands. They could want to communicate. I specifically just heard the word apologize. They could want to apologize. The Nine of Swords, though. They think about it a lot. There's some kind of anxiety holding this person back from, um, from communicating as well. They don't know how that communication is going to be received. Now, also with the Nine of Swords, I feel like, because he's like sitting up in bed, it's like he's woken up to something. I feel like this is this is something that's really happened for this person. Um, it's like they've really realized how screwed up everything is and how their actions um, have got them to this point. It's like they've woken up to this truth and now that they've seen it, you know, they can't unsee it. And they want to express to you the realizations that they've had you know they got the judgment card at the bottom of the deck with the world card wow so this is hitting this person in a big big way um you know this person the universe has finally gotten their attention okay the universe has finally gotten their attention and now they see it and they're being called to do something about it they're being called to action whether that's getting their stuff together whether that's apologizing whatever it is let's see what this is the devil so this is your energy so it could just be them um, really thinking about you. But I also feel like them really realizing how just toxic they are. You know, a lot of their toxic behaviors, actions, how it's led up to the kind of the destruction um, in their life. Okay, we're not going to take all those. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at their heart space now. Show me this person's feelings. Oh, yeah, Aces or Queen of Swords. So gaining a lot of clarity. Um kind of being ready to put some of this past stuff behind them and welcome in a new phase of their life, a new chapter in their life, um, because they, they have gained a lot of clarity. They have really had some major realizations here. Show me their feelings when it comes to Capricorn. How do they feel about Capricorn? Knight of Wands. So I feel like they still feel, they have a lot of desire for you. They still feel very strongly about you. Um, 
and I feel like a part of them really wants to, to move towards you now that they have this clarity. But like I said, there's still some things holding them back. Um, they don't know if they can be forgiven. Three of Pentacles. But they, you know, a lot has been put on display for them. Um, a lot has been put on display for them, you know, when it comes to themselves, when it comes to this connection, when it comes to you. I do feel like they really want to work on things. They want to take action. They want to move towards you. They still have a lot of desire for you. And they want to work on things. They want to come up with a plan, like, how can we fix this? Um, you know, that's that's their true wish in their heart. But let's see. Let's just take a look at what their true intention is. What are their true intentions when it comes to Capricorn? Nine of Wands. They're not ready to let this go yet. They still, you know, they're, they're still holding on to this. They haven't given up on it yet. I also feel like they know that you don't fully trust them with that energy as well. I've got the Four of Cups. Definitely fear of rejected, fear of being rejected though. And and the, the phrase that like I just got to, like got in my mind when I said that was um, every right. So I feel like they're worried that you're going to reject them and they know that you have every right to after what they've done um and that's i feel like the fact that they know that they are deserving of that um is what makes them fear it even more so i don't really see them taking action at this time you know they definitely have some fears that they have to work through but the page of pentacles so maybe their true intention is to um to communicate to reach out um, but they're having a lot of fears surrounding it but they're not ready to give up hope they're not ready to give up on it yet I hope you can forgive me one day. Let's see what their action is going to be. The moon card. They're trying to figure it out. They don't know what to do here. I do feel like this is also a card of like deep reflecting. Okay. Um, I do feel like we are about to have an eclipse here soon. I'm not exactly sure of the dates, but we're, we're about to be approaching the Taurus Scorpio eclipse cycles. Um, and we will start to feel some of those energies already, um, you know, pre-shadow periods and all of that. But uh, there's an eclipse here on the moon card, and I'm really drawn to this time frame. Eclipses do bring major changes in our lives. I feel like this person is having some deep reflections because of the pool that's here. Um, the pools are very deep and they're very still. And this time apart from this, from you, you know, this, this separation, this time apart has caused this person to have these deep reflections. Um, they do realize the challenges that you guys still have to go through, but they're also seeing, you know, that this is, that it's worth it to them. I still don't see them taking any action at this time. Five of Wands, they're very conflicted. Um, they're very conflicted. And they don't want to argue. They don't want to argue. They don't want to fight. They don't know if you can forgive them. But I do feel like they're having some major realizations here. And I feel like they're they're not ready to fully give up on it yet. But I still don't see them taking any action at this time. But this is what I'm seeing for you guys now. If this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals. All of that's going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.